Your Excellency, Consul General, Members of Senate, Deputy Vice-Chancellors, Members of Council, distinguished guests, alumni, residents and guests. Welcome to the 45th anniversary of the founding of International House. And in my language, which is Irish Gaelic, we would say Caid Mila Folcha, which literally means 100,000 welcomes. I would like to offer a very special welcome to the Chancellor, Her Excellency Professor Marie Bashir, who is also currently the Administrator of the Government of the Commonwealth of Australia, as the Governor-General is overseas, and to our special guest speaker today, the Honourable Michael Kirby. May I also offer a special welcome to all our overseas alumni who have travelled to be especially here today. Just mention a few of them, if I may. Millie Truong and his guests from Cambodia, Pauline Lyle Smith from the UK, Bob Kazelka from the US, John E. L. Chong from Malaysia, Jonathan Tanko, who has stayed on especially for this event and John, before returning to the US, uh, Virginia Teodoso from the Philippines, and to many others who've traveled from all over Australia. The flags behind me represent the 42 countries that we have in the house this semester out of 200 residents, including the newest country in the world, South Sudan. We have 65 postgraduates, and we cover 16 of the 17 faculties at the university. And today, sitting at some of your tables, are resident hosts representing six of the seven continents of the world. Unfortunately, we failed to get a student from Antarctica, but we're working on that one for next year. Since we have a very busy program today, um, I would like to be, um, and I'll be speaking again later, I would like to start immediately by introducing a very distinguished local elder to perform a welcome to country. Please would you welcome Mr. Charles Madden. Yes, uh, good afternoon folks. My name is uh, Charles Madden, but known around the, the inner city on Gattica land as Chica. That's a nickname I've had for many, many years. And uh, it's strange as to say that just down in Abercrombie Street is where we lived, where that name started. And that was way back, I think the Second World War was still going on at the time. That's where we lived. But uh, I am from Gadigal country. That's the land we're on at the moment. I'm a director with the Aboriginal Medical Service at Redfern, been there for over 30 years. An ex-director with Aboriginal Hostels Australia, the Aboriginal Housing Company at Redfern, and the Metropolitan Local Aboriginal Land Council. I'd like to take this opportunity this morning to extend a warm and sincere welcome to all my Aboriginal brothers and sisters, non-Aboriginal brothers and sisters. Welcome to Gadigal land. Aboriginal land, the Gadigal clan is one of 29 that make up the Aura Nation. And the Aura Nation is bordered by three distinctive landmarks. We have the Orkesbury River to the north, the Peen to the west, and the Georges River to the south. Those three rivers form the boundaries for the Eora Nation. Folks, if you've travelled across this great city of ours this morning, the state or this great country, welcome to Gadigal land. If we have any brothers and sisters here from the Torres Strait, or have travelled here from further afar across the seas, a warm and sincere welcome to Gadigal land. Enjoy the afternoon. When everything's finished, have a safe and trouble-free trip home. Once again, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you.
Thank you, Charles, or if we can call you Chika. And you'll be happy to know this year we have two Indigenous students in the house this year. Her Excellency Professor Maria Bashir is Chancellor of the University of Sydney. She is also Governor of New South Wales. Born of Lebanese descent in the Riverina district of New South Wales, she graduated from the university with a Bachelor of Medicine and Surgery in 1956 and has subsequently taught at the University of Sydney and New South Wales and, was, and has worked with children's services, psychiatry and mental health services and Indigenous health programs. She received an honorary doctorate of medicine from the University of Sydney in 2002. Along with the many professional medical association roles, she was at the time of her appointment as governor, a member of societies as diverse as Amnesty International, the National Trust, the New South Wales Camellia Research Society, and the Tandania National Aboriginal Cultural Centre, as well as being a patron of the Sydney Symphony and Opera Australia. She was appointed an Officer of the Order of Australia in 1988 for her services to child and adolescent health and has subsequently made a Companion of the Order in 2001. She was later invested by Her Majesty the Queen with the insignia of a Commander of the Royal Victorian Order in 2006. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Chancellor, Her Excellency Professor Marie Bashir. Thank you, Jessica Carroll, for that warm and generous introduction. I actually stand before you with the greatest sense of humility as well as privilege, both to be associated with our great university, but also here in the presence of so many illustrious people who uh, mean a lot to me in many ways. Uh, Mr Justice Michael Kirby, of course, a great Australian. Mr Graham de Graff, Foundation Director of this wonderful college, his beloved wife, and I say beloved by all who know her or who have heard her sing, uh, Laura Selms, and of course so many, many, oh of course Denise North, Chair of the Council here, members of Council. I've looked across and now I see Professor Derek Armstrong too, Deputy Vice-Chancellor uh, Vice Education. But I recall, I'm not too shy to admit, when this college was founded, established in 1966, and acclaimed as a visionary, visionary decision. And I know here today too is Mr Hudson, who was very, very instrumental in uh, moving forwards in this visionary idea to make it real. And since then, yes. And from, from that idea, we have now welcomed here to the heart of the university, in a sense of spiritual heart, so many young people and teachers from across the globe. And in, I'm not too shy to say this is the spiritual role of Australia, the intellectual role, not just the diplomatic role, that we should be a home for young people embarking higher education who will enjoy the inclusiveness, the support and the excellence of this university and then radiate across the world to take the message of education for all. This is perhaps something we all believe in, as Nelson Mandela said, that education is the most powerful weapon of all. So thank you, alumni, for coming. Those of you who've come across the seas, made sacrifices, no doubt, to get here, but have come through love of what you received from here and gratitude. And we're all indeed grateful that you chose to come here and that you've studied here. And may, be, may that legacy go on and on because it can only enrich not only the lives of the students who come here, but our nation and the whole world. So thank you. And I'm so grateful again that uh, Justice Michael Kirby has honoured us with his presence today and what will be some very wise sentiments as well. Thank you. Thank you.